Hey, yo, what's up? This Disciple Marcello Kearns Rain back up in this anti-Illuminati all day, anti-America all day. Yeah, so this message is going to be uh, basically part two of uh, the child marriage and uh, its form. Okay. America doesn't have a problem with pedophilia in the form of child marriage. I had to come back on this because I feel like I got to I got to have this understood. They have the Americans in the American system, the American government, the American community, they don't have no problem with pedophilia in the form of child marriage. They don't have no problem with the with the with pedophilia if it's in a child marriage. So long as it's in a child marriage, they don't care about adults having sex with children. That's what it is. They have no problem with child marriage. As long as I mean they have no problem with pedophilia. As long as it's it's in a child marriage and they got papers on it of them being in a marriage with, with a child, they'll have no problem with it. This shows you, this is what I need you to see. This shows you that really... They are not against pedophilia as a community. Well, have your community said anything about child marriage? Then how can they say they are against pedophilia? How can they say they're against pedophilia and they ain't saying nothing against child marriage? It's the same thing. It's the absolute same thing. So pedophilia is different from child marriage. Child marriage is a form of pedophilia. It's no different. How is it different? Explain to me how it's different. That's what I want you to do. It's the same ages. It's the same ages. They just use that like the old school used to do. If you get my daughter pregnant, she, you're getting her married. They basically trying to save face as far as honor by saying, okay, if you want this little child, you got to marry her. And this is their way of trying to, to cover their own butts and their own integrity. And this makes them look worse trying to put a child in a marriage. And it's no different. It's no different. If they got 10-year-old girls, 10-year-old girls in Tennessee in child marriage, go look it up. Go Google it. 10-year-old girls, three of them in Tennessee, married to fully grown men. You telling me that ain't child marriage? You telling me that's not child marriage? If if a if a fully grown man was laying up butt naked with a 10 year old girl, you telling me they ain't pedophilia. So how so 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 if a, a man get makes a put her in a child marriage, you that transforms it. That transforms it in your mind that it's not that to the point that it's not pedophilia. If he gets a child marriage license, a fully grown man married to a 10-year-old girl, that makes it valid to you. But if he lays up outside of a child marriage with a t- butt naked with a 10-year-old girl, a fully grown man with a 10-year-old girl now, you, that's pedophilia. So the only difference is documents. Let's, let's understand this. The only difference is documents. 
The only difference is documents. The activity is the same. If it was if it was three 10 year old girls, this, these are real cases in Tennessee, three 10 year old girls in child marriage in Tennessee, just in case you don't think it's real, it's, it's not real. Three 10 year old girls in child marriage with a fully grown with fully grown men don't matter what age they is. They, they are. They was over 18. That's all that matters. OK, so. Let's just say that they wasn't married. Fully grown men laying up with three 10 year old girls. That ain't pedophilia. It is. And like I said before, your youngest boy in the in the country that got married was 11 years old. If a woman was a fully grown woman was laying up with 11 year old boy in your country, that ain't pedophilia. So child marriage, long as she marries the child, it's not pedophilia. It is. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Your country has just made it legal to have sex with children. It's still pedophilia. Because let's look up what pedophilia is. Let's look it up. Let's look up the definition of what pedophilia is. It's sexual desire, an adult that has sexual desire or activity, I would say, with a child. That's the same thing. Whether it's in a child marriage or not, it's an adult having sex with a child. It's an adult with sexual desire for a child. It's the same thing. And that's why we win it. You think you light the fire. We light the fire that you can't put out, buddy. We light the fire. You way too late. You are way too late, buddy. We light the fire that you can't put out. That popular game ain't going to work, buddy. We light the fire that you can't put out. You got child marriage. And, and this is what America accepts. This is the form of, of, of pedophilia that America accepts. It's the same ages. It's the same ages y'all will go to war for. It's the same ages you would want somebody dead for, for interacting with sexually. 10 years old. So 10 year old girls, that's not a pedophilia for an adult to have sex with them. It's not pedophilia for a man, a fully grown man now, to have sex with a 10 year old girl. Now, children playing with children is, is going to happen whether we like it or not. I'm talking about fully grown adults over the age of 18 having sex with, with a 10-year-old girl. That's not pedophilia. So explain these child marriage cases where fully grown men in Tennessee married 10-year-old girls because of the laws of child marriage in Tennessee. Explain how a fully grown woman don't care how old she is as a woman. She's over 18. Explain how a fully grown woman can have marry a, a 11 year old boy. And y'all don't call that pedophilia. So you got to face it. You got to face it. I've gave you, I've given you real cases because see what many of you do as far as child marriage, what you think is, Oh, it's just, it's just, um, it's just 16 to 17 years old. Well, explain the 10-year-old girls that's in the child marriage here in America. Explain the 11-year-old boy that, that's in a child marriage that probably can't even get an erection. How's an 11-year-old boy in a child marriage when he can't even probably have an erection? I'm not saying if he has an erection, he's able to, but he, he probably can't have an erection if he's 11 years old. Consistently all the time. So some people would say he's not even sexually compatible with an adult. Because that's the only thing it is, is sexuality. How's an, how's an adult 
compatible with a child mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, intellectually, and last but not least, sexually. A fully grown man is not sexually compatible with a child. So the term marriage is not valid in the form of child marriage. A marriage is about compatibility. A marriage is about intellectual compatibility, emotional compatibility, spiritual compatibility, physical com compatibility. There's no compatibility between a man and a child. So the word marriage is not valid. It's something else, but it's not marriage. You call it marriage, but by if you're using that word, you have to, it has to define, the, uh, the activity has to define that word. There is no marriage there. That's a Jedi mind trick. There is no such thing of a child marriage. That's an oxymoron. How is a child marriage? How is a, ch how's a child in a marriage? They can't work. They can't handle any responsibilities. They don't understand love. How does a child understand love? Marriage is about love. Boom, ow. How does a child understand love? So why are you marrying a child without love then? It's not about love because the child can't give you love. They can't communicate love properly. So it's that's the foundation of any marriage, right or wrong. <laughs> Hey, the foundation of any marriage is love. So as far as the marriage term and definitions that we have come to know, have come to know, it's invalid. There's no compatibility. There's no love. So what is it then? So it can't be defined as marriage. The only thing that makes it marriage like is the person is in a wedlock with a human being. But this is this is this is a form to me it's the closest thing to sex slavery. That's what it is. Because the only thing it's based on is sexuality. It ain't no it ain't no compatibility, ain't no love. All it is is sex and even there it's no sexual compatibility. Well, children, how can a child get an erection? How can a how can a woman how can a child girl be uh, lubricated vaginally speaking in her vaginal area consistently. So a, a, a female child can't get vaginally lubricated and a child boy cannot be have an erection. So what, what's going to happen here is we're gonna we we're gonna admit that you have created a judgment on your country. That's what you're gonna admit. We're not playing any games. You're playing games, and we have you right where we want you. We ain't trying to hear no psychological foolishness. You have child marriage, marrying children, having sex with children. And we want blood for that. And God is going to do it. We tired of these whites, weirdos, these white American weirdos playing all these games. And then we find out they playing the worst game of them all. They up there marrying children, hiding, hiding, saying it's a child marriage when a child is not even uh, compatible. Who you think made the term up? A black man? <laughs> you think the black man made up a term called child marriage? Or was it the Hispanics and Latinos and Asians? Who made the term up? White America. That's a child marriage. I'm not racist. I'm Pacific. If it's black people gangbanging, I'm talking about that. If it's white people marrying children, I'm talking about that too. I'm not, listen, I'm not racist. I'm Pacific. If it's specifically your race, then that's, I'm, that's who I'm talking to. If it ain't you, I ain't going to talk to you. But if it is you, I'm talking to you. White Americans are the ones that started this child marriage thing all together. And you all decided to take the liability with them. <laughs>
you all decided to take the liability with them. And that's what that's why you're in the situation you're in now. OK, they the ones started it. Their tribe foundationally is the ones they are the ones responsible for starting this child marriage term and child marriage formation. And if you look at the ages, all it is, 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 is pedophilia. And they're using this term as a throw off to deceive people as a Jedi mind trick. It ain't nothing but legal pedophilia. That's all it is. Because it seems like white people can't help themselves. They can't help themselves. We got to do something about it. We got to make child marriage in 43 states. Because <laughs> these white people can't do nothing about it. They can't help themselves. They can't help themselves. They want children and nobody else. <laughs> you can't help yourself. You want children and nobody else. You got child marriage. Yeah, you think it's a game. <laughs> you think it's a game, man. And these are the ages that people go to war concerning. Okay? That goofiness done played its course. We have you today. We cashing out today. We cashing out today, man. You have child marriage, and I promise you I'm going to make it stick. I'm going to make it stick nationwide. As a prophet of God, I'm going to make this whole country liable for having 43 states of child marriage and playing uh, warlike blood sports with Christians and spiritual people as far as uh, as far as attacking them with pedophile uh, op entrapment operations. In other words, they've been make they've been trying to play games in public with Christians, with children, using children as a uh, pedophile bait to make them seem like they're they're pedophiles. They're playing psychological witchcraft, psychic, telepath, all that foolishness, mixing it all together, playing this game to make you feel guilty of something that you haven't done. To make you feel like you're a pedophile and you're not. We're all, we, oh, we realize all you're doing. So how are you smarter than us when, I realize, when I'm calling you on everything? I'm calling you on everything. And you and I'm calling you on the fact that you got 43 states of child marriage. And you got 20 states of child marriage that allows adults to marry children at any age. That's definitely pedophilia. I'm not listening. I'm not at I'm winning. I'm winning, bro. I dare somebody try to challenge me with some of that foolishness they talk about. With the stuff that they passing over putting putting out over here. All that witchcraft, all that foolishness, all the mind games don't mean nothing to 43 states of child marriage. That's an empire, buddy. An empire while you playing my psychological George Jetson games. Man, you can't be serious. Yeah, you can go play with somebody else. You can't play with me, buddy. I'm the messenger of 43 states of child marriage. Yeah, you can't play with that, buddy. You can't play with that because military, police, any other institutions are all going to, listen, all going to be submerged under me. You can't win, man. You can't win. We, read, we, we revealed, I revealed the true America. You have 43 states of child marriage. We don't care nothing about what y'all plans or nothing. We don't care nothing about your plans. You know who's near death? It should be you. It should. It ain't me. I'm good. I'm real good. I am super good, buddy. And I'm super pure too. Why y'all? How you pure than me when you don't know about the child marriage in this country? Well, I think that makes me a little bit more pure than you. I don't care what you think, and I don't care what you say about your own thoughts and your own way of thinking. I think, technically speaking, if I know about child marriage and I'm talking about it, that makes me a little more pure than you. Well, you are under the impression that America is something that it's not. You don't think that kind of bumps me up as far as purity? I think I'm a little more pure than you. And, and listen, man, listen, we can do this all day long and God will destroy you. Okay? Listen, you got child marriage and ain't no excuse for it. 
they accept this form of pedophilia. Long as it's a child marriage, this is the pedophilia that the Americans accept. They accept this kind of pedophilia. They accept this. Yeah, they accept this. They accept it. They ain't moving it, are they? Joe Biden talking about getting rid of child marriage. When it has the same ages that you would consider people to be pedophiles for having sex with. He ain't getting rid of it, is he? So what's the difference? So let's let's what's let's let's settle it. If a child is any age, you don't have no problem with you don't consider it pedophilia as long as they got documents that they marry. <laughs> That's what you're telling me. Long as you got documents that you're in a child marriage, you don't have no problem. You don't have no problem with it. Long as, no matter how young the child is, you don't have no problem with it as long as they got child marriage documents. So that means it's not about the age anymore. That's what you're telling me? So as long as they got the documents, you don't care nothing about it. That's what you're trying to tell me. You see how it redefines everything? You see that, right? Even your definition of pedophilia. Well, you can't call that man a pedophile if he is with the same age that the man that has that's in a child marriage is, has. He has the same age of child as the child marriage man. The people that's in child marriages, same age. You lose. And I'm smart enough to know I got you. I got you. I got you. There ain't no way, ain't no way you can justify. And and listen, I don't need this is what you think I need. You think I need America to join me. I don't need them to join me. I'm showing you Christians why they're going to die, why this American community is going to die. I don't, I'm a prophet. I don't need no American following. <laughs> yeah, I know you thought I needed the Americans. Why? Why do I need them? I'm showing them why they're going to fall. That's the foundation. The foundation is this is why you're going to die. You have child marriage. I want you to hear it from the person that you're playing with. That's the second thing. Boom, out. So you can know you ain't making me feel like nothing. You ain't nothing you're doing is working. Right, that's the second reason. I'm gonna let you know ain't nothing you're doing is working. I'm I'm in here. I'm 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 purer than you. And you lose. Okay. <laughs> you got child marriage, and and America will accept the child the pedophilia in the form of child marriage. It, they'll accept it. You got 43 states of child marriage. The last child marriage law was passed under the Trump's administration. That's pedophilia. How is it a child marriage? Make it make sense. It's little league marriage. Like I say, it's little league marriage. It's a little league marriage. It's a little league marriage. Like you got Major League Baseball, MLB. It's little league marriage. We got little league marriage. Now they making little league marriage. Now they got little league marriage. That's what you're telling me? Ain't none of that foolishness working, bro. You, you got child marriage. Ain't no way you can beat reality. Science can't beat reality, buddy. Science has to interact with reality. Okay, you can have all the science you want to, but science depends on reality. Boom. So your science can't work. All the psychological stuff you're doing, all the technologies you got, it has to rely on society, on reality. Ow. And guess what? You got 44, 43 states of child marriage. So all the science that you're using, all things that you're using against me, it's invalid because of your reality of child marriage. You needed to depend. If you was going to do this against me, you would have to depend on for it to work. You have to depend on the reality of your country being pure and protectors of children. And that's not true. 
So when it comes to reality, your science can't your science can't depend on the reality of America. Boom. And that you know how and, and that's explained this science is your technologies and, and uh your phys- your, your all the technologies and mind games and all the mind technology that you got and even the spiritual technologies of witches and warlocks and telepaths all of that has to depend on reality it has to have a backing in reality that you would be a pure country and you're not so no matter what all you're doing here with psychics telepaths and technology you're you're, you can't depend on a pure reality of America, which means everything you're doing is invalid because you're the ones, the pedophiles, while all the games you're playing and all the technology you got, it's all invalid because you can't depend on the real reality of history and the real reality of this, of this, of, of the present state of your country. When you get done playing games, you got 43 states of child marriage, buddy. Now you see what we're saying. And it don't matter what talents you got, no matter what spiritual gifts you got, I have you with reality. I have the soul of your country with real reality. And you could do all the somersaults and Jedi mind tricks and karate, and you can do Kung Fu. You can do both of them. You can do Jitsu too. You can do all of that. And when you get done, reality triumphs over all the things that you're doing, all the fighting that you're doing. That's what makes reality so powerful. Reality triumphs. How you gonna manipulate it? Everybody knows it's true. Everybody knows it's true. Ooh, woo, who? <laughs> Children, you love them. <laughs> Everybody knows it's true. Ooh, children, you love them. Yeah, you love them in the wrong way, buddy. Hey, 43 states of child marriage means you love children in the wrong way. Yeah, I ain't no clown performing. I'm a man, I'm a revolutionary prophet telling you you dead. Yeah, you got the game mixed up. I'm absolutely fine in here. You, on the other hand, you should be worried. Well, because God is going to bring the um, repercussions. God is going to bring the repercussions. You can't listen. How long you think you're going to play that game? How long you think that's going to last in a God world? In a God universe? How long you think that's going to last? You look in the other countries when God is already tired of you anyway. You got, listen, you got 50 states of gay marriage. You're dead from that. <laughs> I've been told you that. Who will who? It's over. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it will who? It's over. <laughs> hey, listen, man. You'd be glad too if they was playing games with you for years and years, like it's a game. And you thought you had me wore down. I'm not wore down. I'm not weary. I'm not bothered. I'm not tired. Hey, I'm I'm strong enough to do videos, ain't I? I'm strong enough to keep pounding on you day by day. Pounding on you weekly. I don't think, listen, I'm not slowing down at all. I'm encouraged every single day I look at the news. It's a big circus now. (laughs) Filled with elephant doo-doo. Big circus filled with elephant doo-doo. Big piles of elephant doo-doo. That's what your country is. I'm not your friend. I told you this a long time ago. You got, listen, you got, listen, you got child marriage, man. America has child marriage. And you're trying to sidestep it, and we're going to keep talking about it, and we're going to pull it up to all that superpower ego, alter ego feelings you got about yourself. All that super ego, all that superpower energy, equipments, and technologies, and all the science, scientists, and all the science you got here, all the bunkers, all the all all them satellites and all of that stuff you got, we pulling it all across that. All of that is under forty three states of child marriage. Boom, out, out. All that technology, all the money, all the music, all the superstars, everything that consists of America is under forty three states of child marriage. 
including all the technology, science, military, all the military is under it too. Every, every member of the military is submitted to a country with child marriage. We're going all the way with it, bro. And why you try to make it seem like it's a 16-year-old girl? No, it's not. Well, then why they got 20 states? See, you ignorant. They got 20 states in America, which is almost half. Well, 20 out of 50, 25 will be half. You got 20 states that has child marriage and they, they can mar- and, the, and the citizens can marry children at any age. So that destroys this mentality like it's 16 and 17 year old girls. That's what I'm trying to show you. That's where you messed up and that's what we got you. There's 20 states that says no minimum age, bro. It says no minimum age. So that destroys the theory that it's these 16 and 17 year old girls that that the country don't know if their children are adults. That would be that would be valid as your excuse on pers- as far as your perspective if you didn't pass the last child marriage law July 1st 2019 that allows adults to marry children at any age. That's full blown pedophilia. Any age? Now, I know you ain't trying to hear that, are you? But that's what it is, bro. That's what it is. And that's what I'm trying to show you. That, without a doubt, is pedophilia. And they talking about child marriage at any age. Now, that's the punchline. Child marriage is pedophilia. In the, is it, child marriage is a form of pedophilia. But this is the pedophilia that America would accept. A child marriage where you can marry any age of children. Boom. That ain't pedophilia. If it's any age, it is. That is, obviously. Obviously, bro. Any age. But they call it, what? Child marriage. But it's any age, so it's pedophilia. So let's go back again. It's any age because it's pedophilia. It's any age because it's pedophilia. See, you the cornball you thought I was. How am I the cornball when y'all marrying children at any age? There ain't nothing cool about that. In fact, I don't think you're cool as a country no more because you got child marriage. I don't care what rappers you have, singers you have. How can you be cool under 44 state, 43 states of child marriage? It's impossible, bro. It's impossible. To a man like me, I don't see, you can dance and shuck and jive all you want. You're not cool to me. You don't appeal to to me, okay? Okay, so the last law passed July 1st, 2019 allows adults to marry children at any age. So any age is pedophilia. Right? Right or wrong? Any age of children is, is, is definitely covering, covering the ages of pedophilia, right? Right. They don't put any age you can marry, right? So any age in a child marriage serve, strength, uh, supports my point. It strengthens my point that it is definitely child, it is definitely pedophilia because it's any age in a child marriage. It's any age in a child marriage. You should be the one wanting to die. You think I want to die? I want, I'm winning. I'm winning. And I'm no disrespect, but you thought I was built like one of these suburban Americans. Yeah. I was strengthened around the ghetto, buddy. I was strengthened around the ghetto. You can't break me. I'll be right here 20 years later, however long it takes. However long, however long it takes to sink this ship, that's how long I'm going to be here. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm at the end of my rope. I'm winning, buddy. I'm winning. Praise the Lord. I'm winning. You got child marriage trying to play games like it ain't. Like it ain't pedophilia. That's pedophilia all day. And the police, you know what he said to me? When I was locked up for a weapon charge, for a weapon ticket, he talking about, oh yeah, I hope it changes. You don't say that to the pedophiles. You, you don't say it hopes it changed to the pedophiles, do you? 
Oh, it's going to change right away with the pedophiles. But when it comes to the American government with child marriage laws, you're talking about you hope it changes. Nah, you support that. That's what you're telling me. Well, you should be more appalled than saying and have a greater statement than you hope it changes. That's an understatement. That's an understatement. That's how I know you're on their side. That's a seven hour boom hour. Time of you hope it changes. But yet, meanwhile, you call yourself law enforcement. You enforce laws of a system that has child marriage. All police, if you're a noble police, you're an honorable police, you shouldn't even be working no more after hearing this. Well, you got to find something else to do. God will provide. But you cannot call yourself an honorable police at any point as an American co- in, the, in the American community. You have child marriage. How can you enforce laws for a system that, that, that marries children? How can you enforce a pedophile to be locked up, but then you got child marriage over here? Which is worse because the pedophile gets to have the child 24-7. Listen, man, just admit it. You've been defeated. And ain't no wiggle room. No one cares what's on my mind. You care what's on my mind? Do you care what I'm thinking about when they got child marriage? And I'm talking about child marriage. That's what I'm talking about. So that's obviously on my mind. Do you care about anything else they talking about that they think they found on my mind? Do you care about that when they got 43 states of child marriage? That game ain't working, bro. Nobody cares. You know what we care about? You got 43 states of child marriage and nobody in America really knew about it. Yeah, it's shocking. It's very shocking. It's culturally changing. (laughs) <laughs> it changes everything, doesn't it? It changes everything. And guess what? That's reality. Why you sitting up worried about what's on my mind? Nah, that's reality, buddy. That's what we going with. We going with reality. The reality that you are marrying children. That's what we going with. And we going with the fact that that is not a valid marriage. It is pedophilia. How is it a valid marriage when children have no compatibility with adults? That is pedophilia. It's the same definition, the same ages, and we know it's the same ages because under the Trump administration, under the Donald Trump administration, the child marriage law that was passed July 1st, 2019, says that adults, these adults in this new law, 20 states, allows adults to marry children at any age. At any age. We can at least say well, this is down to the single digits. Can we agree on that? We don't know if we can go down to lower than six or seven, right? But it's at least nine years old. At least, and I'm being generous, it's at least nine years old if they say any age. That's a, laws are technical. All they, the, the community can hold them to technicalities. You said any age. You didn't say what what weight they are, what height, none of that. You said any age. And and no person can, they can say like the the other fine print is uh, considering certain circumstances. Okay. But the bottom line is this. We can at least say it's younger than 16 and 17. That's a fact. If it says no minimum age, no certain age, it at least is past 15 and 14 down to past teenage years, 12-year-olds, 11-year-olds. Well, I showed you 10-year-old girls in Tennessee. Three 10-year-old girls were married to fully grown men. So there you have it, 10-year-old girls? And you're trying to go to war with me? I won this war with information, and you don't want to accept it because America is used to fighting. How you going to fight past this, buddy? And you're going to be like that uh, that video on uh, Scar, oh, Scarface. You're going to be like, you're going to be like, you're going to be like that video on Scarface with the ghetto boys. Now, nah, um, hold on. Bushwhack Bill on Scarface, on uh, Mind Playing Tricks on you when he hitting the concrete. That's you. You hitting the concrete in this situation. You ain't fighting me, buddy. You're going to be like the video on Mind Playing Tricks on you. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow.
Pau, 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 pau. Now you feel like you the one that's doing dope. Ow. Because <laughs> you got 43 states of child marriage and you sitting up here playing with me. You must be the one doing dope. <laughs> that part. You must be. You must be the one that's doing dope. Day by day, it's harder for you to cope, huh? Because you feel like you the one that's doing dope. You, hey, you got 43 states of child marriage, big baby. You got 43 states of child marriage, man. You can't see me, man. You're going to be like Bushwhack Bill hitting on the, on the pavement, dropping them fifth floor beans on them. Dropping them fifth floor beans on them. Dropping them fifth floor beans on them. And guess what, buddy? Guess what? All that swinging that you're doing at me, it ain't hitting nothing. You mind playing tricks on you, big baby? Well, I'm talking in real time, buddy. Well, I'm talking in real time. You got 43 states of child marriage. That's all we talking about. Because ain't nobody minds perfect. Especially going through the war, what they doing? Boom, ow. But what's your excuse for pass, passing 43 states of child marriage? You can't win. I ain't lost. I ain't saying I'm impure, but just in case I was, look at all they doing. <laughs> just in case I did have a slip of a thought, look at all they doing. And God is going to consider that. Yeah. Look at all they doing. So I'm listening and look what all I got. I got 43 states of child marriage on them, Betty. But they waiting for a shred of thought. I, I'm not, my mind ain't perfect. I'm going to tell you that right now. And as soon as somebody thinks they got something, they're trying to jump. God is going to destroy you all on technicalities that you got 43 states of child marriage. That's what you got going. Boom. See, I cleared away from the foolishness, man. That separates me from these little dummies out here. These little 20 somethings and 13, and these little teenagers. I'll tell you something, man. You'll be dead, young and dead. I don't care. You be dead, young and dead. It doesn't matter. You don't go to war. You don't go to war with a prophet, buddy. Listen, you should have told your. You should have asked your mama that. <laughs> you should have asked your mama that, buddy. It's too late. Look, I don't care. You be a dead young. You be a dead young soldier. Why y'all got forty three states of child marriage? Now, see, we can ask the real youth, the wholesome youth. Across the country, how they feel about that? How America accepts pedophilia in the form of child marriage. They accept this kind. They don't have no problem with this kind. Long as you, you it's a child marriage, but it's the same ages that we all feel is pedophilia to, to interact with sexually. They don't have no problem with it as long as a, as long as, as, as it is a child marriage, because they don't feel liable. The country may hold, the citizens may hold you liable, but the government covered itself by saying it's a child marriage. Boom. That's how they get everybody off of them. Well, it's a child marriage. If you go to the system, well, we, they were, they, they, they came before us with the person in the child marriage. They wanted to get married. That's how they cover themselves from being liable. But we, but that's a Jedi mind trick because it's not because here's the thing. You lock up there. First of all, there are laws of conflict. I coined this term. It's laws of conflict. You lock up the same age. You lock up other people that are having sex with those same ages that you allow people to have access to through child marriage. Okay? And it's a law of conflict because you contradict your morality towards children with these child marriage laws. So how, in other words, how can you lock somebody up over here for having sex with the same age 
But then you make a law that says any age. You can make, you can have sex with any age. You can have sex with any age. Any age of children, you can have sex. You can have, you can have sex with them. Any age. This is where the liability is solid, bro. That's a solid. That's solid. If you hadn't passed that last child marriage law, it wouldn't be that solid. That's where you messed up. You got goofy. You got goofy. That last law tells everything about your perspective. We, we see truly how you feel about this issue. You got child marriage. We now see you allowing people to marry children at any age of children. Now that's the real truth. That's what it really is, is that you want any age of children. Well, you got it in the law. <laughs> you got it in the law, any age of children. And so now we can we can stop acting like it's 16 and 17 year old girls. And, you know, that kind of turns you on too. well, does any age of children turn you on? Because half of y'all say, well, because because they got you all hooked up into their culture. Well, I kind of I kind of get turned on by a teenager. Do you get turned on by any age of children? Being in a child marriage, you get turned on by that. Do you get turned on by any age of children in a child marriage? You don't do you. And so, see, even if you don't bring the liability, we're going to bring it. The kingdom of God going to bring it. That's why it's so dark in your world right now. That's the seventh hour. Hey, I know you noticed the difference. You noticed the difference in the aura of the world, didn't you? You know why it's like that? Because there's no games being played, buddy. You thought this was a carnival and you about to die. You like Pookie. You remember when he got caught and they took, they found a wire on him? I'm about to die. <laughs> I'm about to die. You, you Pookie on New Jack City. Hey, when they found a when they found a wire on you, I'm about to die. <laughs> hey, I know you thought it was me, it's you. Man, listen, man, ain't nobody listen, man. I'm totally, I'm out of harm's way totally, bro. You got child marriage. I'm the one revealing it, man. Listen, ain't no listen, man. I'm totally, I'm totally, I'm totally out of harm's way, buddy. You just want me being harm's way with you. You wanna these secret societies want me to pull be want me, wanna be uh wanna pull me down with them. Yeah, you listen, bro. You dead. It ain't my fault. You dead. Listen, you you trying to keep pressure on me. You can't keep no pressure on me when you got child marriage. It's you part of the American community. That little term "secret society" don't mean nothing to me. Do you got a social security number? Do you got an ID in America? Then you're an American citizen. And guess what that means? Everything you do is a liability to them. Well, if you're gang stalking, that's a liability to the American government. Hey, if it was black people, they would have got something done about it. Boom. Let black people go gang stalking and see what they get done about it. And I got to do a video on that. If black people was the ones mainly, mainly gang stalking, like a whole bunch of hordes of black people everywhere, man, they shut that down a sizzle. They would shut that down a sizzle, bruh. Stat. That's that that stuff will be shut down. Stat, bro. That's real. It will be shut down. Stat. If it was black people doing it, if it was black people doing it, they would they shut down anything they do. I know this. I know this. But when white people doing something, you see how it's a show now? That shows you how racist they are. Let black people go around gang stalking. Let Middle Eastern looking men that look like Osama bin Laden. Let, let them go gang stalking. Man, you're doing right. So you think they'll let Osama bin Laden looking men go uh, gang stalk in America? They would do something, wouldn't they? But when white people doing it, oh, it's just nothing we can do. Now you see what I'm saying, don't you? Because you know like I know, if it, was a, if it was Osama bin Laden looking men that look Arab, with long beards and long gowns like Muslims walking around gang stalking. You don't think they'll do nothing about that? Of course they would. They will be freezing bank accounts, first of all. Boom, out. They'll be freezing bank accounts, following them, seeing where they're going. They love to hound anybody non-white. Don't you see that? Anybody non-white, they find it a hunting game. This is a hunting game. 
unfortunately, this hunting game caused COVID to be put on your country. Oh, I know. You don't think you got all the excuses why COVID is here. A bat did it. A bat did it, right? A bat in China did it. That's what you have us to. You think that's the whole reason you got us more than anybody else in the country, in the world. Well, explain why you got COVID more than anybody in the world. Besides the fact that Donald Trump slowed down on the pro, on his response. Besides that, why is it? Why is it all? Why are you getting all these? Why you got COVID more than anybody? Why you got more deaths of COVID? And if you think it's slowing down, one third of the whole country. Has, been, has contracted COVID. One third. Did you know that? One third of the country has contracted COVID. More than one third. About one third. You got 333 million people here. That's how many people are in America. Yeah, you, you know I got to know the enemy. You got 333 million people. That's not a lot of people. That's not a lot of people. Guess how many people got COVID, have, have contracted COVID? 104 million out of 333. That's one third. Why well, you thought I was retarded this year, buddy? One third of the population already got have had it. One third, that's a lot. Okay, 100 and something million and you have 300 million people here, that's one third. 100 million out of 300 million is one third, buddy. Boom. You got one third of the, con of the whole American community that done had, done had COVID, COVID cases, official cases. Ain't no games being played, bro. This one third of the country already done had it. And you still ain't got rid of it. And you still think it's going down because they got make mask mandates. That's all psychological. They want to keep hope alive. There ain't no hope alive. Because when one person comes here and you get it all again. One person comes here and you get it all again. That's all it takes. Just like that guy that went, was out in Seattle, in the Seattle area. He was the first case of COVID in Washington. Where I have lived, Al. I lived out there in Seattle, Al. <laughs> The first case of COVID was out in Seattle. And that's all it took after that. Boom, like wildfire. So if America doesn't clean up the rest of the world, they just say, well, we cleaned up our country. We cleaned up our little spot. If it's like a job where somebody just, they got an assignment to clean up certain things at a job. They'll just clean their part and don't worry about the rest of the stuff. We just, well, I clean mine. He need to do his. Why I got to be responsible for what he did? What he's supposed to do? That's how Americans are. We go, the true test is, is America going to clean up the whole world or expect the, these, these countries that don't have nothing to expect them to clean up their country from COVID? They're not going to be able to do it. Every country is not sophisticated enough to do it. If America does not help the whole world, it's over because they're going to keep bringing it back. How you going? How you going to stop them from flying? And then you got then you got um, breakthrough cases where people are vaccinated, but they still get it. So if they show you their vaccination card, but they still got it and they bring it here, how you going to ever get rid of it like that? How you going to ever get rid of it? You can't. None of that stuff. Listen, it's COVID is a means of an end. Don't you understand? It's the means of an end. You ain't going to get rid of it. It's the end. This is how God did it to you. And, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm listen. I'm going to tell you why I still it's, it's, it's not going away because I believe God looked at your mentality during COVID-19 time when during the year 2020 at the beginning of 2020 of this decade. You were still killing people. You were still killing each other. You were still doing evil. You didn't care about how you treated each other. God holds that into account. How you win against me? I don't care nothing about what you think on my mind. You got, you got 43 states of child marriage. I win, buddy. You goofy. We proved the goofiness of tribes through you. That's white boy goofiness, man. 
You think I care about what they what's on my mind when they got 43 states of child marriage? I don't care who's doing it. You, your government is doing it. And your country said nothing is and is ignorant of it. And yet they out here playing games and they have nowhere to hide from child marriage when you got 43 states of child marriage in your country. You ain't got nowhere to hide from it, man. And you can't sit up submitted to a country that's doing that and then lock up people like R. Kelly and then persecute people. How is R. Kelly locked up? I should have been his attorney. How is he locked up? It's a law. Listen, all these laws that you have of child marriage, it cancels out the morality of locking up pedophiles. You can't lock them up. How are you going to lock them up when you allow the same age of children to be in a in, in a sexual bond with, with a fully grown adults? That's what it is. It's a sexual bond. That's the best way to put it. It's not no child. It's not no child marriage. It's a sexual bond. That's what it is. That's the best way to put it. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for giving me that. It's a sexual bond between an adult and a child. And yet, you got sexual bonds over here. But you locking up R. Kelly over there. You was playing harassing Mark Michael Jackson just because he was the most famous, more famous than the white man. That's what it really was all about. Americans just ignorant, don't know no better. That was all about conquering someone that was considered cooler than the white man. That's all it was. That's all it was at the end of the day. Oh, so you think all these racist people ain't had nothing against Michael Jackson? This is all them racist people, all these rednecks. How do you think they felt about Michael Jackson? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, you think they just celebrated him just like Michael Jackson? They was waiting for a way to get him. That's all it was. And he didn't use wisdom, and that's his fault. That's why I say I, I don't let you can't, you know why you can't get nothing on me? Because kids would never be in my room. You would never listen. You would never find a kid in here, buddy. Since I've been here almost two years in my apartment, not one soul of a child has been in this room. And when 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 a child enters into your house, somebody anybody can say anything. They can say anything happens as long as children are not in this room. You live in the la la land, buddy. You live listen. You live in the retarded land. Long as children ain't in this room, man, that's all we talking about, bro. That's all we talk about. You can play those games if you want to, but you got to remember, I don't think like an American. And listen, you goofy and I'm not, man. I'm ready to go to war any day. They want war any day they want it, man. I've been around killers. That's the difference between me and you. I've been around killers. I've done real crimes. I've done real crimes. I know what it feels like to be in crime time and real time and crime time. <laughs> Rhyme time, crime time and real time and crime time. When that, crime, when that crime clock go off in your head, boom. Well, you know you just did a crime. You need to move. Yeah, you ain't no criminal, so you don't know what I'm talking about. Boom, out. Yeah, you play, you got, you play with the wrong man. Because I got everything on you. And all these prisoners, real prisoners, would be on my side. You know who ain't on my side? These suburban house niggas. That's what it is. Man, people in prison would raise hell if they knew 43 states would have child marriage. I'm with the thugs. E either way it go. Because they the only ones care about it. Well, when you go to prison and you, you're a child molester, you die. <laughs> you die. So if I go to talk to them like Johnny Cash used to talk to prisoners and I tell them they got 43 states of child marriage in America and they passed their last child marriage law three years ago that allows adults to marry children, I bet these prisoners will raise hell. I bet they, I bet they will raise hell about the fact that they locked up and the fact that they country, they're locked up, they're submitted to a country that's marrying children and locking them up. And they probably won't touch no more child molesters. Why should they? Their country got child marriage. Why should they be touching anybody? Everything is, is corrupt. Don't you see what I'm saying? You don't have a system in world that protects children. 
Okay, you don't. And if you was real about protecting children, you would fight your greatest enemy, like I'm doing. Like I'm doing. And if you think it's because I'm scared because I'm doing this, I'm a Christian. If a Christian find out information like this, you don't think we're going to take it all away? And I've been a Christian for 23 years. 24 years this year. 24, it will be 24 years. So you don't think if I find this information out, I would have naturally just talked about this anyway? See, that's what I'm saying. You under you you think you know everything. You think you know what the reasons are. You think you know everything. Nah, not this time, bro. You can't call it this time. All I know what we can call is y'all got child marriage, and that's all you need to know. You don't need to worry about me and my motives. Besides my motives, you have child marriage. Boom. <laughs> Besides my motives, you have child marriage, and ain't no psychological foolishness going to change it. I know you think I'm, in, I'm on your side. I ain't nothing like you. I am nothing like you. I'm a straight up savage right about now. I am nothing like you. I've separated from your culture. I've separated from your community. I ain't nothing like you. I don't think like y'all. I don't think like you. It ain't nothing sweet. It ain't nothing funny. You got child marriage in this country and we're holding you accountable. And we're going to do it by God's way. We're going to do it. We're going to get it done by God's way. We're going to do what Osama bin Laden wish he could have done. This is what we can, we, listen, we don't got to be terrorists. Osama bin Laden would have been proud of me. Hey, you can take it how you want to take it. I don't care. Osama bin Laden would have been proud of me. I got this done without shooting one weapon at these Americans. I got it done without shooting one weapon at these Americans. You got 43 states of child marriage. You can get mad. I'm ready. I'm ready for what you're going to do. You got 43 states of child marriage. I'm ready. Whatever you want to do. Can't see me. You playing games. You a, you a, you a Mickey Mouse chump. You Mickey Mouse McDonald eating chumps. I can't stand your culture no more. I can't stand your culture. I don't, it ain't nothing but the white man riding around on his horse still playing with the black man. We going all the way with this, man. I'm going, I don't need you. I don't need none of y'all. I'm going all the way with this one. You shouldn't have played with me, boy. You And you the boy. Come out the white man, the boy. How you a grown man marrying children? It looks like you the boy. Well, I know black people ain't passed these laws, did they? Huh? I know, I know Hispanics and Latinos ain't passed these laws. No Asians didn't pass these laws. It wasn't nothing but the white man. And it looks like now it's you that's the boy. Well, how can a grown man pass child marriage laws? For people to marry children at any age. At any age, a grown man would pass a law like that. So it looks like you're the boy. What you want to do about it, man? Won't you be a man and stop using these black and Mexicans and Hispanics and people? Won't you be a man, white boy, and come out the dark and come and fight a man like a real man? Won't you come out the dark? We know it's you. It got to be you. Won't you come out the dark like a real man, white boy? With your child marriage in 43 states. Yeah, you can't face me, can you? You can't face me. Won't you come out the dark like a real man with your child marriage in 43 states? Passing child marriage under the Donald Trump administration. Won't you come out the dark like a real man? You're going to die like a boy. That's what you're going to die like. You're going to die like a boy. That's how you're going to die. You're going to die like a chump boy. A ham sandwich, ham and cheese with milk eating boy. Look what Joe Biden ain't got nothing to say, do it. Joe Biden ain't got nothing to say, do it. And look, I don't care what happens. People say, well, if this country goes, you go. Well, long as they go, I don't care. Long as they go, I don't care. Long as they go and I see that, I'm good. Long as they go, I don't care. That's 43 states of child marriage. Any real thugs and gangsters that have been locked up will be with it, will be being ready for them, to be ready to ride on them, separate from them, anybody with them. That's how I know y'all suburban suckers. You hiding behind the gay community and all these other types of little, little queer-like communities. No disrespect, but that's what it is. 
You did little quirky little communities hiding this stuff, hiding in the dark and all this stuff. Child molesters and all this other stuff with proof to prove it with 43 states of child marriage. So you, you can't depend on people like I, who I would pick, depend on street people. They ain't riding with that. They ain't riding with none of that. They ain't riding with it. You know what they riding with? 43 states of child marriage, man. That's what you got going on. And you should have knew this day was coming because God, God is not with no gay marriage. So how long you thought you was going to do that? You got seven, you did seven years of gay marriage in America and look how it is now. That's a seven hour. Seven years of gay marriage. That's how long it's been. And look at your country seven years later. Boom. You can't see the writing on the wall. You can't see the writing on the wall. I know. You want to have love for everybody, but I'm, I'm showing you how God feels. I'm showing you how God feels. Seven years later, after gay marriage in all 50 states, look at your country. So it, really, it doesn't matter what you do with the child marriage. We got you on that. Ain't no way. Listen, man. Ain't no way that's gonna, those laws are going to get overturned. Child, the gay marriage laws will not get overturned. And God is angry, definitely angry about that. Definitely. We could definitely agree with that. So how you think God feel? He's happy about that. So how do you think God feels? Kind of just grumpy about it. Halfway upset about it. How do you think what how do you think God's temperament is about that? Huh? How do you think God's temperament is about it? Just kind of slightly upset. Not too happy about it. Or furious about it. When you got 50 states with gay marriage, all the whole America is now gay. That's for all the masculine men talking about fruitcakes and calling people all type of gay names. Bro, newsflash, you in a whole gay country now, buddy. Where you been at? Yeah, you was asleep like the rest of us, wasn't you? I didn't find out till years later. I didn't know it was all, all the whole country. But now I'm wide awake. You got 50 states with gay marriage. And ain't no way you can get mad all you want. It's God's world. And that's what you're going to come to terms with. You, it's God's world. And you can't win. You can't win. <laughs> Listen, man. It's so many ways I win. It's so many ways we win this man. You can't be serious. Even if you don't agree. Hear this part. Even if you think some way it's justified to be with children. It's not justified for gay marriage. Boom. <laughs> Ain't no justification for that. Ain't no justification for it. And like I explained, you got gay lifestyle and you have also and, and you all and you have gay marriage. They're not one in the same. They're not one in the same. They're not one in the same. Gay marriage is a bondage. It's a stronghold. A gay lifestyle, you can walk walk up out of that like I did and, and go about your business. That's the difference. You can come out of gay marriage, a gay lifestyle way quicker than you can come out of gay marriage. And when somebody come up out of it, you can't hold them to even yesterday. I don't care if I did it yesterday. You can't hold it to me today. Did you see me do it today? Did you see me do it today? then that means you're in yesterday, Al. Well, yesterday doesn't exist, does it? <laughs> Just like people say tomorrow doesn't exist, guess what also doesn't exist? Yesterday. Where is yesterday? There's only today, buddy. I'm just saying. I'm not saying somebody's judging, but there are people that do. There are people that do. And one thing is for sure, if, I'm, if we're not in yesterday, then where are you then? Where are you? We're in today. Where are you? Oh, yesterday. You're in, you're in years ago, months ago. That's where you at. Okay. Then you're not even here then, are you? And when you're talking about me, you're not even here. This is where I'm at today. Yeah. And you know what? Even when I was living the gay lifestyle, do you know somebody I was with 
said, called me a, a black Jesus. This might have been racist. It sounds kind of racist a little bit. But I was esteemed like that as a black Jesus. And this is no disrespect to my Lord. There's only one Jesus. There's only one Messiah. I don't have a Messiah complex. Okay. I'm a servant of God. Jesus Christ is Lord. I receive his works that he did on the cross. And that's how I'm free. You got that? But one of my partners considered, esteemed me as a black Jesus, which we are Christians means Christ-like. He seen me as Christ-like. What that tells you, man, what that tells you. I already, listen, I was already a Christian before all my mistakes in my life. And I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed of it because somebody took my virginity when I was a kid, 19 years old, older cousin. So how can I be ashamed? Did it happen to me when I was a kid? That's why you, that's why you lose, man. Don't you see? It's too many liabilities. It's too many liabilities. <laughs> and I had, a, I had a real pedophile pick me up when I was 16 years old. Picked me up off the streets. Took me to his apartment. I could have died. I was that young little teenager that was in a car with a pedophile. And so that's why, and being that God knows all that history, right? God knows all that history that I have. That's why y'all in trouble. Because I went through losing my virginity at nine or 10 years old to an older boy in my family being physically touched. Not all, no, not no commands and all that stuff. Physically touched, penetrated, right? Not some stuff kids messing around telling you to do something, tell you this and that. Physically touched, right? Real time, sex act. And then I grew, got up to 16 and had a pedophile take me to his, in the park, to his apartment. I was underage and he was overage. That's all, that's all I'm looking at. I was a child and he was not. <laughs> So see, that's who you playing with. Now, that's why you got to die like you got to die. Because in actuality, I went through the things that you claim, half of y'all claim y'all went through. You'll see me crying about it. And God made it that way so you so so people can see even though somebody have went through things, it does not stop them from being great. It does not stop them from being powerful and, str and strong in the world and doing whatever they need to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you lose. See, it's a good strategy, isn't it? Yeah, that I got in the car, that the same little kid that got in the, pedof in the car with a pedophile, you sitting up talking about he's a pedophile. That's why you got to go. That's why it's no mercy. It's the facts. It's the truth. I, I, I know somebody who can vouch for it. I know somebody who can vouch for it. Mm hmm. So anything you talking about of the past as children is irrelevant, bro. When you look at my full portrait, when you look at the full things I've been through, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. Because everybody else, I, nobody else was really, I don't remember anybody else say they got pulled in the car by a pedophile that I know. That was me. Not nobody I know. It was me that had an older woman in my family doing something sexual to me, licking in my ear, and I'm, and I'm under the age of 18. A woman. I didn't, hear any, I didn't hear my brother say anything about a woman doing something to him when he was a kid. A woman did something to me when I was a kid in my family. Uh-huh. See, I, didn't, I can't make this up. So if you look at the full portrait Pedophile picking me up off the street. Obviously, he was attracted to me. Not saying that he should have been, but he was. A woman in my family touching on me, doing something sexual to me when I was under 18. If you look at the full portrait, what does it look like? That people were attracted to me at a young age, just like Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe was married when she was 16. 
She was married at 16. See, what you don't want to accept, beautiful people have a long sexual history. And you and listen, look, I'm esteemed as beautiful by other people. I didn't say it. They said it. And more than enough people said it. So that being said, you know, I can explain my I can explain my situation. And when you look at my whole timeline and my whole situation, what balances it out is that what averages out is that people were attracted to me. Well, I had an older woman in my family licking in my ear. When I was a teenager, couldn't resist doing that, could she? So I could hate women, but I don't, but I could. I had a younger, I had an older cousin when I was 19 years old, penetrate me and had a pedophile pick me up when I was a kid. Could have killed me, took me across town and everything. So see, I really went through those things. And maybe that's why I'm passionate about it. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Subconsciously, maybe that's why. But all I know is that's what I went through. That's my real history. Just in case you, and just in case you want to know. And now that's why you have a hell of a liability, don't you? <laughs> no pun intended. You have a hell of a liability for this. Because I was the little kid that went through all that sexual stuff. And you don't hear me crying. You don't hear me. You don't see my heart broken. You don't see me crying to the world. You just don't know what I've been through. <laughs> you don't hear me singing some Eminem like song. You don't know what I've been through. You see, this is my pain. <laughs> you don't know what I've been through. You don't see me doing that, do you? But this is the story, and that's why God ain't having no mercy, because God knows everything that happened. All the, the woman touching me when I was a kid in my family. Not my mom, not not no, not really my aunts. One of her, one of their cousins, but they was she was around my age. She was around their age. And, and I was clearly too young and I was clearly family. <laughs> yeah, that part. Clearly family and clearly too young. And so see, see the whole, when you put it all together and men always been attracted to me and men come pursuing me too on top of that. And women pursuing me, too. I never had no problem with women. When you see the whole thing, when you see all of this put together, you really see that really I am the one that really had the real story, right? I'm the one that whether it, nobody else made this story for me. None of my enemies made this story. Like, you know, I didn't make this story up. That's what I'm trying to say. I didn't make this story up for my enemies. <laughs> that part. It just, this is just what it is. I didn't make this story up to compete with people. <laughs> Say, look at me. Look, I've been through more than you've been through. Let me make this story up. The cars failed as they did. Cards fell as they did. And really, when you look at my story, I'm the one that really have the real story of sexual things that happen. And now you know. And now you know. Well, you should have knew that. I'm attractive. So you don't think no one found me attractive when I was young. Here in America now, here in America. No one found me attractive. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that's not the truth. <laughs> the truth is, from the time I was 9 or 10 years old, I was esteemed as attractive. Okay? And so, so see, this is, what, this is the part that you missed. And that's why you got a liability. I'm good. I'm always good. I'm going to continue to be good, you know, but you're not good. <laughs> that's what you need to know. While I'm good, you're not. And that's all you need to know. You got child marriage up in this country and you got it dressed up 
uh, you got it dressed up as, as like it's a marriage and it's pedophilia. That's what it is. You can sit up here and lie to yourself, but having child marriage, children in the marriage, that's a sexual bond of pedophilia. That's all it is. That's all it is. And you can sit here and play games. And as long as you do, and as long, look, and I got that history that I have, that I do truly have, it's coming back real quick. Everything you do is coming back real quick. It's all coming back. Because God is considering all my whole path and my whole lane. He's considering all of that. And you're getting the light. And you listen, judgment is coming full speed ahead, big baby. We don't care what you feel. We don't care. I don't care about your feelings. Okay? I'm telling you real stories and real histories that's going to knock you off your feet, buddy. And if you black, you going with them too. I don't care if you black. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares about that anymore? <laughs> and you know what I mean. Who cares about that? When it comes to this, when situ to certain situations, no one cares. Okay? You played games, and now it's time to pay the piper. Okay? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what color you are. I don't care if you Kunta Kente's little great great nephew. I don't care. You could be Kunta Kente's great nephew. You could be, you could be Kunta Kente's great niece. I don't care. I personally don't care. You could be Kunta Kente's sister or brother. I don't care. If you play any games with me. You're going, God is holding you liable. 